Okay, I've been making this detox salad that I found through lifeisnoyoke.com and their YouTube channel in the blender, the Vitamix blender. You have to blend each item, and it's a lot of stuff, like a whole head of cauliflower, half a head of cabbage, and a bunch of kale and carrots. But you have to blend those harder things in smaller batches in the blender, otherwise you end up with you know powdered or liquefied vitamins. I thought that using the food processor attachment, I might be able to blend, make this even faster. So here's a whole head of cabbage in there. I'm sorry, not cabbage, cauliflower. It, oh, hang on, I have to turn on the power. There we go, now we've got power. And uh, let's see how this chops up. This is the Scent Series, I think uh, 2800 or something like that. I'm just, I'm just gonna pulse it like this. Still have big chunks and I'm getting pretty powdery pieces in there, so I'm gonna take out the big chunks and see what I got. Well, these did turn out much more riced than I wanted, and I do still have these great big chunks. So my advice would be maybe a half a head at a time, because this this really isn't even half of that whole head that that we have in chunks. And look, the rest of it, the rest of it, it really is ground down, way too small. So I bet you half at a time would have been good. This is maybe a quarter of the whole head that I'm gonna put back into the chopper. And there's about a quarter of the head of that cauliflower in there. <coughs> choppy, choppy. <coughs> that looks good. That looks good. Let me get a better look at that. Okay, right on top here is that last batch. I still end up getting some little riced pieces, but you can see these are bigger chunks. And this is more of what I'm after, chunks about this size. Here's a, a fairly big one, but this is bite size. I mean, I don't know how big your spoon is or your fork, but this is more like what I wanted. So I would say, and that was a quarter, half to a quarter would probably do it in the chopper. These are maybe a little big, but not really. The beauty of making this salad is since it's all going into the bowl together, we don't have to rinse this out between each uh, chopping, between chopping each vegetable. And I don't wanna get a lot of water on anything anyway, because I think that the whole salad will last longer in the fridge if, if uh, all of the ingredients are pretty dry. Right now I have in there uh, a couple of cups of purple curly kale. Um, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be heavy enough to really chop, let's see what happens. Oh, that did something. And I think we got it. Let's see. Look at this. That's how that chopped. Pretty good. I thought I saw a big leaf in there. Look, this is beautiful. That worked out great. Perfect. This one's a little big. I'll just tear this one up with my fingers. And now for the purple cabbage. This is half a head of purple cabbage. And um, that's not quite all of it. I only filled it to about here, remembering how the cauliflower had chopped. So let's see how this chops. Oh boy, maybe holding that button down for a moment or two does better. It looks like it pulls the big chunks down into the blades better. Well, here's how that turned out. Oh, one big chunk. I'm gonna throw that back into the chopper. This is also finer than I wanted, so maybe one, you know, thousand one hundred. <laughs> Sorry, one one second pulse where I say one one thousand would have done it. I did two here. Um, but anyhow, this this will be great in a, like in a taco shell or. I've been eating this salad for a couple of weeks now, and I love it. It's become my fast food. 
I got some tricolor carrots this time. I've been using just the orange carrots, but uh, you can see they're in there. I chopped them up, you know, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inch pieces. Let's see how these, there's still that one couple of big pieces of cabbage in there. Actually, that's the rest of the cabbage with like that one big piece we found, but here we go. Oh, got to put the top on. Ready? All right. Perfect. Look, I like these size of the chunks. This is going to give it much more texture than everything else that... Look, there's one of the pretty purple ones. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to eat this piece right now. There it is all stirred up. Looks delicious. I've served it on a tortilla with hummus and in a bowl with salad dressing on lifeisnoyolk.com. They do a nice citrusy dressing for it in the Vitamix blender. I'm not going to blend up a dressing right now, but I did an avocado dressing last time that turned out wonderful. It was creamy. Also, it is served with raisins and sunflower seeds atop it, uh, but I just bought a container of dried mulberries that I'm going to use instead of raisins, and I think I'll switch it up to pepitas, pumpkin seeds. Anyway, if you want this recipe, go to lifeisnoyolk.com or check out their YouTube channel. Doesn't that look tasty?